morning. It's sort of, well, it's sort of t-shirt weather again today. So I'm back up at the top, finishing rebuilding this little bit of wall, which is where the roof sits on. So it's quite important that that's back the way it was. So this side is about rebuilt now. I can concentrate on getting the rocks back on the top to support this side of the roof. And while I'm getting the rocks from down there, up there, which is relatively, God, look at the state of the hairdo going on there. While I'm getting the rocks from down here to up there, some of you may know, because you've seen the post or you've seen my Instagram, that over the weekend I went to see a survivor from the chateau. Someone who was a child here during the war, you know, was kind of saved by the chateau. He went on to be super famous, but I'll show you a little clip of that while I'm doing this boring stuff. This is Popek, as well as being one of France's longest running, most famous Jewish comedians. He's also got a special link to this place. So before the chateau burnt down in 86, which obviously is a whole reason we're all here together, it was a refuge for children during the war and saved hundreds of children over the short few years that it was held as a refuge. One of the children was this man, Popek, who was sent there by his father for a year to live in the safety of Chaumont, and I had the lucky privilege of meeting with him recently. And we shared photos of things he remembered and I showed him the progress on the chateau. He shared with me little stories that he remembers from his time there. And it was great to meet someone that lived and benefited from the chateau. <laughs> Well, finally, the end of the roof is on the wall. It's been supported by the wall. Even if you don't know a massive amount about building, you know that that's only a good thing that it's not hanging in midair again. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Brush it off, it's not gonna be on show. I just like to leave it as neat as possible so that when the rendering comes, which is gonna go over the face of this, it's easier to get it smooth. 
Now there is a good reason why I'm pointing it even though it's going to be rendered because we're using a lime mix which keeps it breathable allows a little bit of movement it's better for the old building it's all out of lime anyway because it's been below a lime if you just rendered straight on it filled the cracks rendered straight on it the lime would be so thick that it would just crack everywhere and it just wouldn't really bond everything together you got to put it in kind of as thin a layer as possible and even with the joints between the stones keeping it as you know millimeter kind of thin as we can really yeah so anyway that's it one little bit of wall rebuilt and secured for the roof there's another bit actually i'll show you now so this bit here is another bit to rebuild the same obviously it's going to be hard to kind of build this side of the wall but i can definitely get up there and kind of remake this ridge here and then there's this kind of big hole which was a doorway it's going to be pointless now so I'm actually going to brick that up with just block work just normal concrete block work just to fill the hole and give the ridge super super support you know it's nice to see things going back in instead of taking out you know seeing walls go back to how they were seeing the roof go back on it's it's so so satisfying and I hope you've enjoyed hearing a little bit about the Chateau's history for those of you that haven't heard me talk about it before there's so much more I could say and I'll probably do like a vlog on it you know when I've got all the proper information but it's great to hear these stories of people that was here hear that it meant something to them that it saved their life almost you know and that what I'm doing has some bigger purpose than just renovating a building anyway. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow.